I wanted to do this video, I sent me a G, basically, just uses diverse state spaces and diverse nerd for her own benefit. And most of the time, I guess, honestly, I feel like she's tried to basically manipulate diverse women, but not just diverse women, the fence straddlers specifically. Because many of the time when I would get, like, her, um, audience coming to my channel, getting upset or whatever, they were always of the mindset that was basically defending black love and being interested in black men, and that was their main idea of, their main perspective on relationships was with, with black men, basically. Which let you know something, because for me, I'm obviously divested, I've only been in interracial relationships, and I've only been interested in dating interracially. Um, and, you know, a lot of the time these people would often be of the mindset where they basically, you know, did not see eye to eye with me specifically on these things where they kind of were basically against divestment to some extent or another. And you have to pay attention to this. A fence straddler does have something against divesting and swirling because if they didn't have anything against it, why aren't they on the, uh, the fence? You know, and it's just honestly to me weird that people say that she is a part of divestment or that she is using divested talking points. If she was using divested talking points, then she would be encouraging people to divest and she would actually be doing it herself. But she doesn't. Instead, she promotes things like selective breathing or finding a unicorn, you know. A major thing with a mammy is this, they're always looking for unicorns. It's just different types of mammies see it different ways. Some mammies think that there are very, very, very few unicorns. Other mammies think that basically all black men are unicorns. This is where the black men worship comes into. That's why they say basically they that basically most black men are good in their perspective and they think they're all unicorns. And then there are people like her who think there's a very, very few unicorns out there. See, it's just different experiences and honestly I think it also has to do with the aged mammy versus the young mammy. Younger mammies tend to be more into black male worship and Older mammies have been through it all, have been used up, and are now angry and bitter sometimes, and because of this, they basically think unicorns are very, very, very far and few between. Now, the thing is with her is that she uses divestment basically to get attention from black men. Divestment was never meant for black men's attention. I mean, what... Why would it have to do with trying to get black men's attention when the very thing about divestment is actually being interested in men of other races? So why would we be trying to get black men's attention, you know? But of course, she does because she's not divested. So she uses these talking points in order to get attention to the problem she has as a mammy who believes that Unicorns are far and few between, in hopes that she can actually get attention to the actual unicorns she thinks is out there, one, and also to bring attention to the black men who aren't unicorns, but in hopes that they can basically work and achieve becoming a um, unicorn at some point in their lives, you know. Her content is for black men's attention and to push black men to do better. She's into reforming black men, and that's why she stays talking about black men, because that's 
who she wants. She's not divested. She doesn't even push her followers to be divested. She doesn't even accept divestors and people who interracially date. She still thinks very negatively of them. And you can see this because every once in a while she'll make a video negatively depicting divestors and twirlers. But, obviously, like I said in, in the past, she doesn't really need to do that every day because she's more focused on black men to begin with because that's who she dates. Point is, though, the major thing to pay attention to is that I feel like she does try to manipulate black women, especially the ones on the fence, and she wants to make sure they stay with her, but more than that, you know, she uses divestment to make her platform bigger and in hopes that she can actually, you know, get more attention to her channel by using divested talking points. So, uh, that's why, to me, you know, I don't take her seriously. And I think a lot of the time it's annoying when you see Cynthia G followers trying to basically muddy up the waters for divested um, people, basically, in our platforms. Because sometimes they'll follow her and then they'll go to divested platforms. And you'll see basically the words and the um, content that she puts out, they'll use, and you can tell that they're literally Cynthia G supporters. And like I said, having a mammy trying to basically claim she's having talking points for divested platforms, it messes things up for the divested space in total. Um, as a viewer and a content consumer of divested, um, spaces, mainly, it often, I often find it's a bit annoying, because you can't really actually see who's really divested and who's really just a part of I'm an angry mammy, when we're all put in the same category then you kind of feel like, you know, this space is not really about being divested, it's just about being a reject, which, I mean, is very helpful to black men and their self-esteem, for one, because Cynthia G is very good for black men's self-esteem. See, if anyone sees it for what it is, it's like, well, Cynthia G feels like she is rejected by black men, she feels badly that she doesn't, you know, have the black man she wants or whatever is going on there so basically she is having a fit over black men and she needs a black man so badly but she's still having a fit over it you know what i mean so it's kind of like you know if divested spaces were just that simple and were just that explosive it would basically complement black men instead of what divestment really is, which is the lack of interest or desire for black men and actually looking out for other races of men. You know, people choose to do this for different reasons, you know. But it doesn't have to be because somebody wanted a black man. And Cynthia G, to me, needs to stay in her lane. She needs to actually stick with the whole mammy rhetoric and things of that nature. Because this here is not a good look, one, for her, and it's not a good look for divestment. And I think it's best for divested platforms to just point out how, you know, our motive is not the same as Cynthia G's bitter movement, basically. And the fact that she tries to use divested black women to further her mammy tactics just to me sounds so manipulative and it's just really annoying. So that's all I have to say on this. So thanks for watching. Bye.